So guys, I want to talk about a fight which I was actually thinking about and I think it would be a really interesting fight in their prime. Who would win? Nanito Denaire against Prince Nassim Hamed. A fantasy matchup. Who would win? What a fighter Nassim Hamed was, I have to say. What a superstar Nassim Hamed was. Brilliant fighter. Brilliant, brilliant fighter. Unbelievable talent. You know, there's no doubt about it. Nassim Hamed was um, the man back in the day. You know, he was the guy that brought the money to the light divisions. Nassim Hamed. What a fighter. What an exciting fighter. What a talent. Nanito Denaire is obviously a Filipino legend as well in his own right. Uh, Nanito Denaire was an excellent fighter. Good puncher. Good chin. But in their primes, who would I pick? I would pick... The maverick that was Nassim Hamed. I believe Nassim Hamed would have, in his prime, would have probably boxed rings around Nanito Denaire. I think Nanito Denaire was definitely put up a fight. But I just think Nassim Hamed had the bit between his teeth. Nassim Hamed, for me, was a special, special talent. Um, I think he was unbelievable. I, th I genuinely do. I was a big, big fan of Nassim Hamed. Let me tell you a story about Nassim Hamed. I was inspired by Nassim Hamed, the first boxer I, have, I ever knew. Uh, I used to play a Prince Nassim Hamed game. And I used to think Nassim Hamed was the best thing since sliced bread. I didn't know anybody in boxing. I just knew Nassim Hamed. And, you know, I used to play that Prince Nassim Hamed game. And I was inspired by his movement. Then I started seeing him, you know, on on uh, TV and on, on, you know, YouTube and stuff like that. And then I started watching his videos. And I was like, wow, this guy, he's special. Um, and I just think that Nassim Hamed, you know, someone asked me the reason why I'm doing this video. Someone's asked me to do this. What do you think of Nanita and Nassim Hamed? And I just think Nassim was, he was different class in his prime. I just think the way he could move and the way he could dance in the ring. Uh, it's unfortunate that his career finished so early and he messed up his career. Um, I just feel that he retired at 28. He didn't really fulfill his talent. But yeah, I think in their primes, I think he, he was exceptional. I think he would have beaten Nanito Dene. I genuinely do be. I think Nanito Dene is a great fighter. He had power, but I just think I think Nassim was was something else. I think he's one of the top featherweights. Nassim was special. He was. He generally was. Um, I don't know what you guys think. Um, I think I think a lot a lot of a lot of people like Nassim Hamed, even across the world. I think Filipinos. A lot of them lo used to love Nassim Hamed. Uh, because he he was a, he was a mercurial talent. He was just unbelievable. He was a he was a showman as well. He was an absolute showman in the ring, outside the ring, everywhere. The way he used to talk, to speak, he was, just, he was brilliant. He was he's one of the best in my opinion. I think he was one of the top fighters and probably could have been even greater if he went on to fulfill his talent. And unfortunately, he probably didn't. Uh, you know, ill disciplined, um, not as dedicated as someone like Denaire. Uh, but in his prime, he was a scary talent. He was. Nassim Hamed was a scary, scary talent. And he would have taken some beating. If we're honest, he would have taken some beating. He was a, he was a, I, I would say, magician in that ring. He was. Then he lost to Barrera, but he had so many problems, you know, making way, etc. And he, he, he wasn't the same man. Uh, Barrera beat him quite comfortably, but Nassim was, he was special. He was special. If any of you haven't seen Prince Nassim Hamed, go back and watch his highlights on YouTube. What a fighter he was. He was an unbelievable talent. Unbelievable talent. Leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, I'm looking forward to what you guys have to say about this topic. Uh, leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.